Today we are answering two questions I get asked a lot which is why I chose optometry and why I haven't been uploading optometry related videos. So first, I don't upload optometry related videos because I don't feel ready yet. I feel terrified of sharing the wrong information. I don't feel good enough to teach what I know on the internet because I feel like I have so, so much more to learn. But if you have optometry related questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Also, if you have optometry education questions, especially here in the Philippines, I feel like that is something I am more comfortable in producing for now. Don't hesitate to send me a message or leave me a comment. So next, I can make a whole separate video on the technicalities of choosing your college course, like all those factors that come into the picture. Because in this video, we will not dwell on that. In this video, I will give a sappier answer on why I chose optometry. Anyways, I first discovered the concept of working in the field of eye care through Dr. Jose Rizal because I have always been fascinated with Philippine history and maybe someday once I have the courage, I can also share this fascination with you through this channel or through my study gram. But aside from that, we also have a family friend who is an optometrist and everyone in my family actually wears prescription glasses. But I chose optometry not on my general interest in eyes, but mostly because of an advocacy. I have always been a firm believer that dreams begin with vision, both literally and figuratively. Literally because our dreams are usually shaped by what we see and observe around us, and figuratively because we start to mobilize our dreams once we have that vision, that goal, that end game in our mind that we want to work towards. So in a latest survey in 2017, it shows that there are over 2 million Filipinos who are blind. And the human brain has this tendency of not seeing the depth of big numbers. So just for, let's just break that down, the 2 million. So the Smart Araneta Coliseum has a seating capacity of 16,000. So in order for you to cater to all the blind Filipinos, you have to build 125 Smart Araneta Coliseum. And that is a lot. But the sad thing is with how the leading cause of blindness here in the Philippines is actually uncorrected errors of refraction like myopia. So contrary to popular belief, blindness can actually be prevented if only eye care services are accessible and if only public awareness on eye health is more widespread. Visual impairment has its own considerable economic implications that comes with loss of productivity that will lead to low income, poverty, and social dependency. I am drawn to this disturbing and painful reality that made me pursue this course for college because we use our eyes in everything that we do. It is mainly through our sense of sight that we successfully navigate in this world. We find hope in seeing the sunrise every day. We feel motivated to work whenever we see our loved ones. We love seeing the smiles of our friends. We get to appreciate art. We get to watch our favorite shows. We get to cross the street, drive our cars, and we get to witness the realities and the problems in our society first and foremost through our eyes. Doctors of optometry do more than take care of a person's eyes. Optometrists do more than prescribe lenses. Doctors of optometry help improve a person's quality of life. They are an integral part of the healthcare system. I am happy to be where I am right now. It may be a long course. In the Philippines, it takes six years to finish and to earn this degree. But I think we are doing something meaningful despite all the stereotypes on optometrists here in our country. I am having the time of my life with my future colleagues who are also the future primary eye care providers. And I know each one of us will help prevent blindness in our own respective areas of residency. I aspire to become a great eye doctor by acquiring knowledge, learning the skill set, and collecting experiences. I envision a world where no one is needlessly blind or visually impaired. I hope that someday I get to create solutions to our global blindness crisis by starting here in the Philippines so more people can still wake up and see the sunrise every single day.